Anki is something I get a lot of backlash for. Oh, interesting. Um, because Anki is thought of as a rote memorization, and when I when I put forward Anki, people think, well, you don't need to remember things in mathematics. You should just be able to derive it all yourself. Well, go, r yes. remind us what what exactly Anki is. Of course. So Anki is this space repetition uh, software that is basically flashcards that can be set up in a way that you see them in a prescribed uh, revision pattern. Mm -hmm. So you study it today, it will give it to you tomorrow, then six days, or if you stuff it up, it will bring the revisions closer together. Now, people probably think, what are you going to use flashcards for in mathematics, right? In mathematics, you need to do these calculations. That's right. But you can use it for computations. You can use it to schedule your revision of certain calculations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For example, you could have a card that says Green's Theorem, and then you've got to do some time on Green's Theorem for at least one problem. But at least in my case, uh, we're often taught a bunch of concepts, especially in, in research mathematics. You learn thousands of ideas and concepts and theorems and definitions that I personally want to have a thorough understanding of. Mm -hmm. So the way I do it, at least, is I have a, th a system where I'll have a card which says define Kähler manifold. And then what I have to do is I have to actually write the definition. I, I love that. I can't just pretend and do this uh, recognition. It's got to be recollection. I have to thoroughly write it out. It could also be give an example of this. 